I'm standing here on the uh, 13th hole at El Caballero. Um, this is one of the two holes that we have left to plant. Uh, we're on schedule. We're due to be completed with the grassing uh, August 15th, and I think we will be completed before then. I'm here also to approve the last seven greens for seeding, and they should be seeded tomorrow or the next day after uh, I've approved all the contours. We'll make some adjustments to the contours that are too fast and some that are too slow, but in essence, we're gonna finalize the green contours today and uh, they'll be planted and seeded tomorrow. I think what's interesting about having done these videos every two to three weeks, uh, you as members can really determine how we are changing little things, putting details in the design. I think it's very helpful for me to be here that often in order to uh, really put the finishing touches on every hole that's being designed here. We started with the plans, we started with the specifications, uh, but then we do a lot of field direction and changes. Steve Crotty, our shaper, uh, is a real maestro on the bulldozer, as is uh, the, the people working for Wadsworth Construction Company. It's been a great team. And uh, because of that, we've really gotten so much detail and so much of an improved look and feel for this golf course. This is the 13th hole. 13 and 14 are the next two holes to be grassed and then the planting will be done. A uh, good example of the bunker behind me is a fairway bunker for most people. It's in play. The good players will hit past it and go down to a great landing area on the right side. Then they can come in from uh, a great angle into all the pins on the green. If you hit left, it will move the ball right, but then you've got the cluster of three bunkers in front of the green and you may have a difficult shot from where you are. So then you'll have the choice maybe to go right of the green where we're gonna put a fairway cut instead of a rough cut. So that's like a bailout area and a shot option. And I think this is indicative of all the different thoughts that you're gonna to have to make as you play the uh, round of golf here at El Caballero because uh, every time you hit a drive, you're gonna have a different objective when, on the second or third shot. This is the um, driving zone for the 14th hole. Um, the hole used to be maximum yards of 385 when we started this work. We found a back tee location that adds length of almost 60, 65 yards for the better player. Now he can hit a driver because it gives him a maximum landing area and it also is a down slope. So if he hits driver, he'll stay on top and he won't have to worry about going down behind the tree. So it's actually a much stronger hole for the better player. Uh, for the everyday player, the tees are the same length as they were before. And that's what we've done on all our golf courses when we redo them. We, for the higher handicappers, we keep the length generally the same or maybe a little bit shorter uh, than it was in the past, while at the same time we add length for the better players because the equipment is so much better and their skills have improved so much. This is a phenomenal golf hole. It might be one of the better holes in the state of California. That bunker on the left is a, really a cross bunker. If you cross that, you can play the slope behind it and it goes on the green. Uh, we did that on the fourth hole at Torrey Pines for the 2021 US Open. It was the same concept. If you are short, it's gonna go in the bunker, and that's not an easy bunker shot. The green goes on a little bit of a diagonal, so you have to think if the pin is in the back right, whether you go for the pin or not, because you have to fly the tree. So you have so many choices on this hole, depending on where your tee shot is, which makes it such an interesting golf hole on every given day, on successive days and successive years. So uh, I would say this hole will probably be one of the harder holes and more difficult to par, but also one of the holes that you really, when you achieve your goal, you'll really feel, feel that you succeeded. We've done a lot of little things here at El Cab. You might not really recognize the first few times you play this golf course after it reopens, but we really improved the grade on about a third of the holes, uh, six of the fairways on the, uh, on the, uh, in the landing areas generally, so that the ball would stay where you hit it. We created that little berm on the right side on this hole. So if you're starting to go offline a little bit, it'll hold you in. We obviously took out the tree, which was so controversial. It's right up there on the left. We slid it there and moved it to that spot. We added this bunker instead of having a tree. And now it's as much of a protective bunker from having you go left down that hill into the trees, as well as a penal bunker. Because when you get in it from the back, you have to get out to the right. The farther up you are, the easier it is to get to the green, but it's still not an easy shot. Then this is a very uh, interesting green. It's got an open entrance on the right, which is protected on the right. 
Uh, if you want to carry it on the left, there's a surprise behind this green. It's a bunker that's hidden down the slope, uh, which really keeps the ball from rolling too far away from the surface. So, it's just, and there's a pocket on the left side. These are all little things uh, that are really big things that you'll notice the more you play this golf course. Uh, now that we're nearing completion, uh, which will be done in about two to three weeks, I can tell you that we're right on schedule, we're right on budget, and there's a reason for that. Uh, we did a lot of planning. Uh, your staff has been phenomenal in helping and actually uh, doing a lot of the planning for us and monitoring this whole golf course project. Uh, it's been a wonderful project. The weather has cooperated. Wadsworth Construction Company has been really phenomenal. Uh, West Coast Turf has brought us great turf and they've sodded it so well. And Steve Crotty, our shaper artist, has really done a phenomenal job. So I couldn't be more pleased with the results we have here at El Cab.